Hello beautiful people, hello, welcome to Kate's Face, wow, so many new subscribers, it's amazing and I just have to say thank you for subscribing and hopefully watching um, my videos on my little channel. I want to say thank you obviously to Tracy Fox um, of Foxy Crafters and Love Junk Journals and the Foxy Rag for putting a little promotion up for my channel and just helping my numbers grow. Really, really appreciate that. And um, yeah, so I'm just, yeah, I'm buzzing about that. It's really cool. And yeah, just thank you for pressing the subscribe button. Thank you so much. So what's happened now is so, I don't know if you watched my last video, but I was contemplating doing a 300 subby giveaway, thought I had a bit of time up my sleeve and then mm, reached 300 subbies or 325 basically overnight nearly. And now I'm like, uh oh, what am I gonna give away? How am I gonna give it away? When am I gonna give it away? So bear with me, there's gonna be a 300 subscriber giveaway and I've also nearly hit 500 on my Instagram, so there may be a giveaway over there as well. I just haven't decided whether it's going to be a journal or whether it's going to be a, an ephemera pack. So if you uh, have an opinion on that, ha, leave a message and let me know what you would prefer. Um, it won't be a, a ginormous journal, but it might be something um, little and using some of the vintage things that I found on my holiday. So what are we going to do today? We are going to talk about faking it <laughs> or really making do. Now, I don't know about where you guys live, but where I am, some of the crafting things that I see on YouTube and on the websites are actually really difficult to get. And if you can get them, they're actually really pricey. And once you add postage on top of them, it's like, oh, can I really or do I really want to stretch my dollar that far so you spend a lot of time kind of thinking about a product or a tool and how much you're going to use it some things you can make do and this is one of the things that I have been making do Tim Holtz um, makes a little slotted thing and I think it's got it's a die anyway a die and here it is expensive and I wanted to make this little project I think this might have been on Angela's, um, one of Angela's envelope things. It's made with an envelope. Anyway, it's a little booklet, but it had one of those dies on it. And I thought, I haven't got one of those, but I really love how it looks. So I thought, I'm gonna make one of those. And that's what we're gonna do today. So if you don't have one of these, you've probably worked this out yourself, but if you haven't, this is how you make one. So basically get some cardstock and it would be cute Any in anything. I was just thinking actually it would be really cute in a really delicate little floral pattern. But I'm just using a plain piece of card. Cut it to whatever size you like. I am doing this um, for ease. Three and a half inches by four inches. Which is not about nine centimetres by ten centimetres. And... That's how big I'm making it. What I then do is, it's about a quarter of an inch, but it's actually around that, um, for the edges, you know, these bits here. It's about a quarter of an inch, but I actually make it, it's actually just over, but I, let's just say it's 0.7, or, uh, sorry, it's 7 mils. So do seven mils border around the edge and I do it all with pencil first because I am notoriously bad at cutting lines straight. I normally them, do them crooked. Right, and then what I do is I get my ruler at the top here at the top of my thing and I go, right, so that's the seven. And so the next one is going to be, what, 14? So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And the next one is going to be 21. You have to know your seven times table. Ha! <laughs> that's going to be tricky. And then the next one's going to be 28. So 21, 25, 6, 7, 8. 28, 
35. Well, that looks like a big one. Anyway, 35. 35, 42, 42, there we go, 42, 43, 44, 45, so 45, 1, 2, 3, so what's that, 48, no, 42, Oh, for goodness sake, Kate. See, my math is so embarrassingly bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, forty-nine. I thought it was forty-nine. I kind of knew that, but you know. Forty-nine, fifty. So one. Fifty-six. How many more? I think you need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what are we at? Fifty-six. Four, sixty-one to sixty-three. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then sixty-three, so seventy. There you go. For those of you who are better at maths than me yay lucky you <laughs> right and then you just repeat that over here this is how I do it if you can just work out a straight line from there then that's good and obviously if you're if I was doing quarter of an inch actually I should have thought that one through I could have just gone down like that with your you know lining it up on your mat but this is how I do it so you know that's how I do it so so that's my seven there's my 14, my 21, 28, 35, 42, 42, what do we say, 49, 56, 63 and 70 now hopefully they'll all line up so then I do a pencil mark across obviously I'm doing this on the side that I don't want facing up because um, then I don't really have to worry about the pencil marks being seen and we just do this and hopefully they will look beautiful and straight i mean it's just not going to be perfect like a die cut is um and it's not going to have the details that the real one has but it's the same idea and it does the same has the same trick so there we've got our big wide bit at the bottom right this is the fun bit and hopefully my knife is going to be working and I'm not going to stuff this up on camera and have to start again. But anyway, if I do, I do. So start where you've done your quarter of an inch from the edge there. Put your knife on and just come along. And then just think about... Okay, so all the lines have to be cut, but then it's down the sides where you have to think about which ones you want out, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to cut all the lines first. Hopefully I'm not going to slip. How is everybody? We have been in a lockdown level two almost all of New Zealand except for our biggest city which has been in level three it seems they have kind of um, found the cluster or kind of contained it and so they're looking at Auckland which is our biggest city in New Zealand coming out of level three on Sunday so yeah that's that's great and hopefully it um, has caused the government here to maybe 
take a bit more a bit of a closer look and maybe be a bit more transparent about the testing at the border which obviously has not been as stringent as what a they said or b it should have been so hopefully that little problem is solved which means we won't have this happen again but I guess for all of us it's a new a new kind of normal way of living so okay so we want this one to be a gap so we're just gonna very carefully go from that dot to there and the same on the side yeah so that's that's sort of what's happening in that area in our country and also we're coming up to spring so that's really cool we had a beautiful warm day in the weekend last weekend and oh it was so nice just sitting out on the um on the deck having a drink and some lunch it was just so lovely so and just be able to go for a walk and not be freezing cold okay so we cut that one out hopefully i've got the yeah see i've missed the corners a bit there i think my knife could be sharper so okay and then we're gonna cut this one so obviously you could just um change the size of these gaps to suit you if you wanted If you wanted them smaller less of them you could make it narrower I mean that's all very obvious isn't it you could just make it however you want and it does the same it does the trick if you can't get hold of the real thing and this is called making do and i do a bit of this because often i cannot get some of the things i would love to have well i can probably get them if i'm prepared to pay out okay so there we've done it there is our stitched well it's not it's our little slot so for this one i'm going to put a little bit of ink on it I'm gonna try and ink it somehow to give it some sort of little bit of definition and yeah you could um, stitch around the outside um, come up from behind here see if that helps a little bit fiddly but you don't have to do this some people don't ink and um sometimes i think i should probably ink a bit less but i like the ink i don't know why just maybe it's just habit but i like how it looks um go this way get a bit of ink on there i think this is a mix between vintage photo and brush corduroy because i think i use the same Daubery thing and then what can you do you can do a little decoration down here so we could just get I don't know maybe a label and pop it on or what else do we have anything really some a little snippet of lace like I've done here and a little pin and just pop it on and then you just stick it on your page let's find something where have we got here here's something i've been practicing my heat embossing on so you can stick it on your page like this and in go your little bits of ephemera done 
So that is a very, very quick video. <laughs> and there we go. It is, in actual fact, my birthday today. So the motto for my birthday is, uh, it's my birthday, so I'll craft if I want to. And I'm making videos. So that's one of them. Especially to say thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for watching. If you have any ideas about what you would like for a giveaway, a wee journal or a little ephem pack of ephemera, which would be a mix of probably make some things I've made and some vintage, proper vintage stuff. And so either one of those, comment below. And yeah, just keep on watching my channel if you want. And thank you so much. Hope you guys, if you don't have one of those uh, die cuts like me there you go that's what you can do instead pretty simple and I'm sure you've all worked it out yourself but hey thought I'd do some crafting and put the video on which I'm going to do again later so thanks for watching and I'll see you later bye